Hello, I'm Valerie White, Managing Director and Lead Analytical Manager in the Housing Enterprises and Structured Security Group. I'm speaking today with Larry Witte, Director and Analytical Leader in our group. Larry, welcome to the show. Thank you, Valerie. Larry, you recently published an article on housing finance agency programs. How are those programs doing? Valerie, they're doing very well. They survived the housing downturn that accompanied the Great Recession, and right now their ratings are very high. Typically, they are at least double A. Yes. Well, why have a municipal housing single-family ratings remained pretty much uh, unchanged despite troubles in the real estate market? Well, they have very conservative underpinnings. They typically consist of, in the mortgage portfolio, 30-year fixed-rate fully amortizing loans. The underwriting standards, they never really changed them during the housing boom, so other underwriters may have low, lowered their, their standards. HFAs pretty much um, stay with the same standards and may have actually lost market share because they wouldn't lower their standards. The bonds are typically fixed rate, which uh, makes, it, makes the cash flows more, more, more predictable. And they also um, enjoy a, a quite a bit of, of support from the U.S. government in two forms. One is either mortgage insurance through the Federal Housing Administration, the Veterans Administration, or the U.S. Department of Agriculture, or through the packaging of their loans into mortgage-backed securities that have guarantees either through HUD, through, through Ginnie Mae, or through government-related entities like, like, like Freddie Mac. Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae, and since we have a, a, a rating of, of AA plus in the U.S. government, that's a very strong support. Right, Larry. So uh, what, if anything, has changed recently? Well, I think the biggest change we saw recently was in 2013 when we changed the outlook on the sovereign rating of the U.S. government to stable from negative. And as a result, we had a, a number of ratings that had, had the corresponding change in, in their outlooks as well. Most notably, we had about a dozen programs whose indentures are primarily made up of mortgage-backed securities with a AA plus US, U.S. government rating. So their outlooks changed to, to stable from negative. Another thing that changed is that over time, the indentures have built equity. So they, they have higher reserves now. And the performance of the loans, while it hasn't really improved significantly in the last few years, it has remained stable, where we have about 7% of the loans have delinquency rates have delinquency rates of 7% and uh, up, up to uh, 60 days or more or they're in foreclosure. So that's a very stable performance. Those three factors have really kind of helped the indentures um, strengthen. Right. So, and recently, uh, last month, in fact, we uh, upgraded the California Housing Finance Agency's major indenture. Can you talk a little bit about the reasons why that upgrade uh, was appropriate at this time? Yes, and it was for a variety of factors. One is that the indenture, the Home Mortgage Revenue Bond Program, had a, um, it had a building equity. So again, they were building reserves over the last few years, and their delinquency rate had, had, had dropped dramatically. So their rate of delinquency was around 14% back in 2010, and now it's around 8.5%. So you have a combination of both lower delinquency and higher reserves really made the indenture stronger. Right now, the indenture is rated A-, minus, where it was rated triple uh, B. And one further factor was that the indenture has quite a bit of a variable rate debt in it, which, as I said before, can make the indentures a little bit less predictable. But they've been paying off a lot of that debt. So a, lot of, a, lot of the, a lot of the expenses that are associated with variable rate debt have been, have been diminishing. So this indenture really is performing more like the other, other indentures that we have ratings on. Right, and very significant improvements. Yes, Larry, well, thank you for this information. Thank you, Valerie. We'll see you next time.